Hello there. Welcome to week six of six weeks of Soap of the God from Vanuelet, Micah Gillum. This week's soap is Dionysus. And once again, she describes the scent as uh, Merlot, which is a wine. In case you probably don't know. And uh, it's a red wine. And uh, from the Merlot region of France. And uh, with lime aftertones. Uh, I don't really get Merlot. I get some spice, some sweetness, and that lime. But now there's a body to it that I'm not picking up with my nose but I know is there and that may be the Merlot the complexity of the Merlot pushing into the scent somehow I don't know I know that it is uh, it's lovely smelling and I'm gonna enjoy it a lot and uh, I'm gonna use my simply beautiful pure badger brush and uh, we're gonna use for the razor my B. Worth and Sons gentleman's favorite uh, this razor I just got finished honing I came off the 8k so this is going to be an 8k shave no finisher other than the 8k uh, Norton Stone so it's popping hairs like crazy, so we'll see what that does. But I like this scent. I tell you, uh, if I had, mm, and that's starting to smell lovely coming off the puck or off the sample as I begin to lather it. If I had. So more of these samples I just keep going because uh, this has been a lovely six weeks uh, the uh, soap is wonderful the scents are out of this world wonderful uh, there's only a, a couple of companies that I can think of and I can't re even remember them now and I, I mean artisans not companies but there's only a couple of artisans that I have in my den that come anywhere to the level that Monica Monica's scents are coming to one of them is Mystic Water Soap. So uh, just a lovely scent all the way around. These are absolutely wonderful soaps. And like I said, if I if I had more, I'd be doing more videos with them because they're wonderful. Uh, Just wonderful soaps. And uh, I got a little bit deeper bowl than I normally use. So my brush tends to clean. And it needs more water. So one of the things I like about this soap is the way that it handles water. You guys know that's, and I've said it before, that's one of the things I look for in a soap. 
I like the soap that says more water please and yeah sometimes soaps like that take a little bit more time to lather because we tend to work the soap more before adding water to it because we're used to soaps that don't need as much water and so they tend to seem to lather quicker but with me uh, and I really think a lot of people could learn this it's just this is just personal uh, opinion but a lot of people could learn to have a bit more patience and how they lather soap have a bit more patient for soap patient for soaps that take a little bit longer to lather not that hers does it's just uh, there it's just a thirsty soap but I mean there are soaps out there that take a lot longer to lather than most of the wonderful artisan soaps that we have out now and people get frustrated see that soap right there could take a bunch more water and I'm gonna end up I think adding more and that's a lovely lovely scent but I mean I think people miss out when they do a soap that when they run across a soap that doesn't lather as easily they tend to not want to fool with it and move on to an easier to lather soap and there's soaps that are really nice that lather really easily razor rock comes to mind uh, this soap lathers really easily and it's a wonderful soap but uh, it's not bad not bad at all anyway there are soaps out there that are just marvelous soaps they just take a bit more to lather and you know we start on this wet shaving journey and we want to take out a part every aspect of it and, and we want to learn every aspect of it we obsess over every inch of our face every minute detail we look for BBS over our whole face and some of us look for that so much that we get so much irritation trying to achieve it that we can't shave for two or three days but then when it comes to trying to actually sit down or stand in front of a sink and actually learn how to lather or difficult soap we want to throw that soap away and go find something better everything else is okay we can uh, uh, focus on the tiniest details of everything else but when we run across a soap that is difficult for us to lather we want to throw it away and go get something else real quick so I, I don't understand that mindset. You know. Uh, but. Hey to each his own. I know. That being stubborn. And deciding, you know, what I'm going to learn is soap. When I've run across some that were more difficult to deal with, it has made a huge difference because it's allowed me to. 
broaden my range and use soaps that other people a lot of people can't use just because they or won't use because they won't take the time to uh, learn it. Mystic Waters is a wonderful example of that because that soap is just incredible but it takes patience and it takes skill to lather that soap. Once you get the right lather out of that soap uh, you'd be amazed at the quality. So this soap here, this uh, Dionysus, and I'm going to add some more water to that. It's just lovely. The scent, just like all of her scents, is that I've used. Even you know, they're they're just wonderful. Uh, and this stays on your face when you shave with it. I mean, I'm not saying that it, after you shave and wipe it off, you can still smell it. <laughs> But it stays, you know how sometimes you see a, you get a soap and it smells wonderful on the puck or it smells wonderful in the bowl. But then you go to try to shave with it and two minutes into the shave, the, the scent's gone, you know. This is wonderful. It's not overpowering, but you can smell it really well on your face. And it just smells wonderful, that sweet, and and now on my face I'm picking up that Merlot. Uh, it's just sweet and spicy and citrusy. Oh, it's just a wonderful scent. Uh... And you know, you read the forums, if you read Straight Razor Place, Badger and Blade, and the reason I say that is those are the two largest forums I know of that have honing forums and things like that on them. Uh, but uh, You know, I've read several threads for the say for many, many years before when the forums first started. Many people shaved off of just the 8K. Huh? Did I cut myself? No. I did another razor off AK. It was all right, but it wasn't as good as this. This I could shave with this, just this edge, the rest of my life, and be happy. This is one that I own with a pyramid on it, but uh, I'm not saying it'll stay that way. I will go to the one micron film on this blade just to because I know that I can get. Just a tiny bit smoother shave out of it <laughs> by going to 1K or 1 uh, micron, rather, not 1K, 1 micron film. I know that going with 1 micron film, which is, I think somebody said, about 30,000 grit. will further refine this edge and it'll just be lovely but that's a wonderful
shave ready edge right there pass number three coming up I've got uh, one pass to go and plenty of lather in my bowl. I'm going to pile it on and enjoy it. So and I'm going to do sort of a hybrid technique. And the reason that I'm doing that is, I, and I've said before, my hair, my whiskers, they grow in a really unique way. There's not really a solid with the grain, cross the grain, against the grain. kind of pass on my face. This it really doesn't exist on my face. Because of the way my hair, my whiskers dry, my beard, whatever you want to call it. Uh so I'm playing around now different stuff still that's that's something that I think is important to emphasize people they get into a routine and they tend not to deviate from it uh, I've been wet shaving for A little over a year, I think, in this traditional style with a straight. Uh, and DEs and SCs. Uh, and I'm still playing. I'm still playing with lather. I'm still playing around with edges. I'm still playing around with blades for my... DEs and SCs. I'm still playing around with uh, directions of passes on my face. All of that. That's important. You should never stop playing around and trying new things and trying new techniques and new ways of shaving. You'll be amazed what you'll learn about yourself and your uh, equipment and what your face likes and all of that. Uh, by doing that. So my aftershave today is Avon's Bugatti. Deep Woods aftershave comes in the container shaped like a 27 Bugatti. It's 
Vintage Avon. I remember as a kid having this particularly decanter. And it's a lovely aftershave. All right, that's my shave. Six weeks of cellular gods, week six Dionysus. Uh, I invite you to give these soaps a try. They are wonderful. And from what I hear on the boards and Facebook pages, Monica's aftershaves and bombs and stuff like that are killer as well. I haven't had a chance to try them, but uh, they sound like they're wonderful. So anyway, God bless you. Thanks for joining me on this shave, and I'll check you out later. Huh.